Extinction happens all the time, but every once in a while during Earth history, there's a period when environmental change is so drastic that a huge proportion of species go extinct. And we refer to those intervals as mass extinctions. 445 million years ago was the first major mass extinction to impact animal life on Earth. There aren't many places in the world where this mass extinction is actually represented in the rock record, and this is one of them. Anticosti Island is an island in the Gulf of St. Lawrence off the northern coast of Quebec. It is a relatively large island, about 250 kilometers long and 40 to 50 kilometers wide. Most of it is parkland and managed by the province of Quebec. A lot of the exposures that we want to get to are relatively remote. All of the rocks are exposed either in rivers or along the coastline. So we can drive pretty close, but we often have to walk in a ways to get to them, and we almost always have to camp. The rocks that are exposed on the island are late Ordovician to early Silurian, and they actually a relatively complete record of the end Ordovician mass extinction. Everything that basically was around during the Ordovician is represented in the rocks here. Lots of corals that were major reef builders, as well as bryozoans, which are also a really important component of reefs, although less well known. Fossil arthropods, particularly trilobites. Trilobites are marine arthropods. They're part of the same group that includes crustaceans, like lobsters, shrimp, but they're entirely extinct. The reason that they're so useful for studying is because they're some of the first animals that showed up in large numbers and abundance in the fossil record. And so they're critical to any questions that we have about the early evolution of animals and early ecosystems. The first time that I visited Anticosti Island was in 2017, and I almost immediately realized that there was a lot of work that could be done. So the following two years, I came back with two uh, colleagues who work on crinoids. Crinoids are closely related to things like sea urchins and starfish. They're basically uh, like if you took a starfish, flipped it upside down, and then put it on a stick. Crinoids have a fossil record that goes back more than 450 million years. They're still alive today though, so they have this incredibly long fossil record that we can study to address all kinds of really interesting questions, how they've responded to extinction events, how they've changed through time. One type of data that we're collecting while we're here is body size. Um, body size is a pretty simple thing to measure, which makes it really easy to get a lot of data, but it's an indirect proxy for a lot of things that are important ecologically. If you're not getting enough nutrients, you can't grow very big. Oftentimes over mass extinctions, there's this observation that species get smaller and smaller. So we want to document whether or not that's happening here on Anacosti, and if so, um, is it happening in all groups? Is it just certain groups of organisms? And what sort of mechanisms are actually driving that change? The other remarkable thing about the way that the rocks are laid out is that they go from older to younger as you go from north to south and represent shallow to deeper marine environments as you go from east to west. So you can basically walk from the north part of the island to the south part of the island you're walking through time, and at any given point along the island, you're either walking through shallow waters during that time or deep waters during that time. This is a location that's really amazing for young paleontologists and geologists to get training, giving them the opportunity to take what they've learned in classrooms and what they've read about and actually apply it in a really practical way. There's a lot of challenges to working out here, but for people that enjoy being outdoors. The island is just beautiful. The people here are incredibly warm and friendly, and they're really enthusiastic about paleontologists and geologists being here on the island. More recently, there's been a considerable increase in the amount of research here as it's recognized how unique this place is in terms of the time period that's represented and the quality of the fossil preservation. We're looking forward to coming back for many years. Uh, every year we discover new things. We continue to find new fossils that are important for our understanding of species that we were aware of but didn't know completely, as well as traces of species that we've never seen before. And that will probably continue for many years to come.